everyone, it's Hazel here. I'm going to be talking to you today about some basic biology principles and that is the plant and animal cell. Make sure you know this inside out because so many papers have it, literally every single paper and there'll and they'll always be marks and it's really important that you get every single one of them particularly when they're nice and straightforward. So, the animal and plant cell. Um, you probably realise there's lots of similarities and I'm going to talk about those ones first of all and then I'm going to talk about the differences. So first of all, our animal cell, remember it looks like a fried egg basically. It's got a big border and then it's got a small compartment in the middle. Remember that compartment is the nucleus. The nucleus controls the activities of the cell, so there's your key definition. Then you have some jelly which surrounds it and we call that the cytoplasm. To help you remember that, cyto means cell in biology and plasm means jelly-like substance. So indeed it's the jelly of the cell. And your role for that is that it's where all the chemical reactions take place, so that's another key definition. Surrounding the cell, you have a cell membrane. Please note that there is no cell wall in an animal cell. The only thing you have is a border, a single border, which is the cell membrane, and that controls the entry and exit of substances inside the cell. Then, depending on your specification, you'll have to learn mitochondria. That's really the powerhouse of the cell and it creates energy via aerobic respiration. Remember, aerobic respiration means that it requires oxygen. Then you have some tiny dots, again, only optional, depends on your exam board. These are ribosomes, and they're responsible for protein synthesis, which really means that that's where proteins are made. Right, so that's really everything you need to know about the animal cell. Moving on to the plant cell, you find exactly the same structures in the plant cell, nothing's missing, you've just got a few additions. And first of all, make sure you're happy that a plant cell is very rectangular in shape. And that's because surrounding it is the cell wall, and that supports the cell. Then inside you have the cell membrane. Remember, like the animal cell, that controls the entry and exit of substances. We have a rectangle in the middle called the vacuole that contains cell sap. And then we've got a nucleus squeezed into one corner, again like the animal cell, that controls the activities of the cell. We also have mitochondria, but crucially we have some green things which look very similar to mitochondria. But the fact that they're green tells us that they're chloroplasts and they're full of a pigment called chlorophyll which gives it its green colour. That's where photosynthesis takes place and photosynthesis is our number one activity in our plant cell. Right, so that's everything. Honestly, I know this isn't, hasn't been a long video, but that's everything you need to know in terms of cell structure. I'll create another video to do with fungi and viruses and bacteria, but I wanted to keep this video nice and simple. Remember, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and any topics or comments that you want me to cover down below. See you guys soon. Bye.